Hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara. Today we're going to talk about false eyelashes. Yes, this was my first attempt at putting on false eyelashes. So I'll walk you through it in a minute. But hey, I just wanted to welcome you to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, Thank you, and there's my little dog barking, so yeah. So this is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70, and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. So I was watching a video channel the other day of a beautiful uh, uh, makeup artist, and she's got a YouTube channel, Nicole Johnson. And she was teaching her 70-year-old mother how to put on false eyelashes. And it got me thinking because I've never put them on before. So I watched her video several times through, and then I had a conversation with my lovely daughter, too, who occasionally wears them, to try and get some tips on them. So I thought, well, I'll go to the store, I'll get the stuff, and I'll just see what, what I can find and if I can get this done. So this was the outcome. So I hope you see that, but, um, I'm going to show you the process of what I went through to get them there. So hang tight and we'll get started. All right, let's see what we're going to do. We have got here these Ardell lashes right here. And we've got the Duo eyelash glue. All right, so let's open all right we're opening the lashes and we're taking them out now like she said um, hold them up like this and that's how you know what eyelash goes to what eye so what she didn't address but something that my daughter brought up was to possibly measure and make sure that it would fit because some people's eyes are smaller than others so and you know i've got my little my magnifying mirror right here too so let me take in the case off of this and right, the duo is a tube of glue do not freeze interesting okay brush on adhesive with vitamins oh well okay that's good um, interesting okay I got a little spray bottle that I keep with alcohol here. So I'm going to spray my tweezers. Probably should blow on them anyway. All right, so. All right, so while I'm waiting for this to dry here, I see that there is a little hair on them, okay. And don't, <laughs> all right. You know how everybody is reacting differently to stress in their life? Well, right now, my eczema is coming out. Ugh. So, all right, does anybody else suffer with that? Stressful eczema? And what do you do? I take, where is it? I have, and I'll probably need to put it on here, it's a prescription strength. Uh, 2.5 hydrocortisone is one of the uh, things my dermatologist gives me as well as a prescription it's not it tecrolomus this is another prescription that um, <clears throat> I have and after I finish with this I'll probably put it on my neck so I didn't realize it was so you see it so bad so I'll set those aside we'll do that later all right so let's say these we're gonna we're gonna pull it off 
I said in the center. Okay. So right now I need first I need to know if it's gonna fit my eye. And if I put that down there in the center where it goes down and around. Oh yeah, there's a lot left over. Can you see that? So I'm gonna have to trim this end here. So I'm gonna take, see this. Okay, here's what I've taken off about that. So I need to do that on the other one in a second as well, but I'll leave that here as a guide to know how much to take off. All right, so I'm gonna reposition my tweezers to the center of where I'm gonna hold it. That's what they said to do. All right, so take my eyelash glue and I'm gonna use my magnifying mirror, which is gonna help me kind of define what I'm doing here. It's hard to see if I've got any on here or not. Okay. I'm just going along that invisible band, what it looks like. All right. All right. I can see in my mirror that there appears to be glue on there. That. So. They say to wait a, a few seconds to, um, or about 20 seconds, I guess, to let it get tacky. Now, I have, uh, according to her video, she said to go ahead and put on just a coat of mascara. Don't put the mascara on the eyelashes because then they get really gunky and it's hard to, to clean off. So, uh, we're going to, this is what I said to do. We're going to wave. So, wave. All right. All right. So let's see. Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, in the center. Down on the corner. Holding it down. This is not as easy as it looks, but oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh, I hope this works. I'm so jealous of all the ladies that can do this. And I've always wanted to do this, but I've never had the guts to try it. What do we think? I think I'm gonna to have to go back in and under and tight line some more. But oh my goodness, look how lifts. I did the eyeshadow to where it kind of came up. Can you see to kind of darken on the end to do that? So this is well I don't know, it's something to get used to, I guess. So it looks like it's sticking on there. So let's just let this sit for a second. Let me work on the other one and see. 
not sure that I got them down all the way, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Let's see. I hope it doesn't start making my eyes itch. So, all right, let's get the next one. So remember, we have to take it out of here, off the band. Okay, unglued. Then I have to trim this end as much as I did the other end. So, that looks to be very close to the other one. So, all right, so we've got this. Hold it in the center with me tweezers. Can. Okay, glue again, using, put it in my mirror, I can see it best here, on that invisible band, oh, and it moves, oh my goodness. Maybe the more you do it, maybe the more natural it gets to be, so, all right. Glue is on there. All right. Don't know that this is in a proper place, but we'll see if we can get this one done a little bit better. It's not in the middle. All right, in the middle. So we're waiting, waiting to tack to get tacky, 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 tacky. But my goodness, I can see how why people love the lashes so much. I just don't want to tear up my own lashes. So I know maybe I didn't put them down all the way on my lashes. I tried to get it on the lid just right above it, but I can still see that there is a space. So maybe that's when I need to go through and do a little bit of tight lining. So, all right. So is this done? Got some lashes sticking out right there, it looks like. All right, let's see what we got. Going into the center. Oops. Didn't get a very good hold on it. Alright. I don't know if it helps to shut the eye. Oh, maybe it does. You know what I just realized? I think I put the wrong end on. Hold on. No, that was the right one. That was the right one. Okay. Alright, so does that help you hold it down and let it dry? I guess if you started doing this more in your 20s, it'd be more natural than when you're my age. Oh. So they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but hey, we're trying today. We're trying. All right. Oh, that it's just the corner of my eye, that little invisible band. Okay. All right, so what? Oh. All right, that little band, I can feel it. But what do you think? That's going to drive me crazy. I can feel that little thing pointing out and sticking me.
So I will have to snip that for some reason or do it some do something. So what do we think? What do we think with false eyelashes? Get the Bambi look going on here. I don't know. What do you think? Let's see. Can I go in with, let me see, the tight line that I used and see. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I really don't. What do you think? Well, this is it. <laughs> I tried it. I don't know. I'll keep practicing to see if I can get better and maybe come back to it. But they're definitely long and full. So what do you think? For my first attempt of putting false eyelashes on. <laughs> All right. If you have any humorous stories about the first time you put lashes on, I would love to hear them. Uh, this is just it's something that uh, I wanted to try. And we'll see how this does. And um, we'll... Um, We'll see how it wears, if I can keep them on. I don't want to look like caterpillars on my eyes. You know, it's different. It's very different. Um, we'll just see. We'll just, we'll just see. So, all right, ladies. So, that's going to wrap this up for this one. Oh, 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 but hold on tight. Can you hold on one second? One second. Okay, had to do this. Remember, I'm doing my giveaway, you know, so every time I do a video, I'm adding something to the box. The box is not it, but the box is just where I'm keeping everything in, too. So every time I do a video, I'm adding something to the box. And when I get to 300, and subs 300 subscribers, my first milestone, I'm going to do a giveaway for all the contents of this box. So what are we going to add today? Well... Here's what's in here already. So what I have found to put in here, it's either going to be a fashion or a beauty item. So to, what we're going to add today is this cute little wristlet. It is from Vera Bradley. And it is a, um, it's faux leather. It is a wristlet here, container. Let's see, there's a thing, let's see. Here you can put your cell phone in or whatever, but with these two little tassels, it is, the, the tag is still on it here, so I'm going to leave that. So we are going to put this into the box for this one as well, too. So I'm going to put that in there. Actually, it doesn't fit too well, so I may have to get us a bigger box to put some stuff in. Oh, wouldn't that be fun if I could just get some more stuff? Okay, all right. All right, snag the nail. All right, I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so set this aside. All right, ladies, we're gonna end. The, we're gonna wrap this up. Call it a wrap. All right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And if you could give me a thumbs up uh, and give me a comment, I would love to hear your stories about wearing false eyelashes or putting false eyelashes on for the first time. How long did it take you to get used to them? Anyway, because. Oh my goodness, I feel like I've got something um, um, in the corner of my eye. I'll have to work on that one. So, But anyway, this has been fun. So uh, I'm going to go put some medicine on my little eczema right here too. What do you do when you get stressed? Do you all have different things that pop out? Oh, anyway. All right, ladies, remember every day, even more than, more than usual because of the time, the stressful times that we're going through right now, so remember every day, get up and show up because you are worth it. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.